Today's topic is one that I find very, very interesting. And it's one that I could talk about for several hours, but I'm going to try to condense it all and consolidate it into maybe um, this should be less than 15 minutes as a video, slightly longer than the ones I normally do, but it's a very, very important topic, okay? Now, what today's video is going to be about is masculine and feminine energy and how you should not be polarized to having either of these. Rather, you find um, if you're a girl, it's about having a, having a feminine exterior and a masculine undertone. And if you're a guy, having a masculine exterior and a feminine undertone, right? Because being, uh, as a girl, if you're completely masculine, you, you need to first understand where this masculinity is coming from, okay? Because some girls would have been abused or suppressed by men, um, and they were around a lot of men growing up. And as a result of this, they have a masculine frame and exterior, but it's more of a defense mechanism, right? They are masculine as a defense mechanism, and it's kind of a mask they wear to um, combat or be defensive against uh, men uh, reproducing things they suffered when they were younger. And while this is, it's unfortunate and I empathize with it and it's fully understandable why they, um, why they put on this masculine front, the masculine front is not congruent. It's not a masculine front that is natural because growing up these girls who uh, went through these unfortunate scenarios, they, they were forced to put on this masculine frame. It's not a masculine frame where a girl has hobbies, passions, interests that are masculine by nature, which makes her masculine. You see, the difference between the second one and the first one is the person who's doing it as a first, it's, a, it's, a, it's them being reactive. It's not congruent with their true personality. It's unfortunately a defense mechanism they've had to come up with. Whereas the second girl who has this masculinity, it's a natural masculinity. It's congruent with her true self. And it is a masculinity that she projects from her DNA, it's not something she's reactively had to conjure up, right? So, and on the opposite side, men who are completely uh, feminine by nature, girls simply aren't attracted to. Let's be honest, right? If you're a girl who is attracted to men, you are naturally more attracted to masculine men than, than men who are feminine. And we'll go through in a second what both of these mean. But similarly, a guy can't be completely masculine. Right. If a guy is completely masculine, he by nature will lack a little bit of empathy. He won't really understand the subtleties of the emotion that the girl is feeling, which is why if you can have a masculine exterior, but have a slight feminine undertone where you understand uh, the emotions or the um, you're able to empathize with uh, the situation a girl is going through, you will not only be uh, sexually attractive to her, but you'll simultaneously uh, be emotionally attractive to her because she feels like you can understand understand her and you're building that comfort with her so it is critical today guys that you that you harness your natural um, energy which is either masculinity or femininity but you leverage you leverage the opposite right now a quick disclaimer before I start I have no issues with the fluidity of uh, masculinity um, being adopted by girls and femininity being adopted by guys. I myself, ace attraction, the whole nature of what we do is feminine by nature, right? Understanding emotions, empathizing, being loving and helping people, this is more of a feminine trait by nature, right? So I myself am a li living example of adopting uh, feminine traits because it's sometimes you have to adopt the opposite traits because sometimes it's good for the greater good of whatever you're trying to achieve. So I have no problem with it, but I do have a problem when it comes from the wrong place, like a girl who has a defensive masculine um, exterior because of problems she had with men or her dad in the past or female uh, male family members. Right. So just understand where I'm coming from when I say that I have a slight issue when it blends for the wrong reasons. OK, now let's first go into um, an example of some masculine personalities and uh, feminine personalities just for those who maybe don't understand the difference between the two um, a good way to always think about this is look at your uh, grandparents um, obviously 
back in the olden days of society there was a lot less fluidity between the gender roles um, which means that most of your grandparents the men are actually quite masculine and the women are actually quite feminine so that's a, a good place to look to as a as a as a rough measure right but let's talk about some masculine traits and some feminine traits men are focused on producing results they have a directional motion a forward motion they are focused on penetration moving towards a goal um, and they are outcome orientated right women are about spaciousness receptivity openness about welcoming they're about loving and they are also creative right there's always there's this joke that goes on in society today that says um you know women are able to multitask and men uh, struggle with it and there's actually an element of truth to this right because because they're in a directional motion and they're outcome orientated they tend to find one thing that they focus on that produces an outcome whereas women will tend to dabble in a lot of different things now if you can leverage both of these if you can leverage a woman's ability to focus on multiple things but a man's ability to also focus on the outcome this is what i'm saying guys it's it's, it's so powerful it is so powerful to be able to leverage an undertone of the opposite gender's um nature okay so what i teach you guys by nature uh, what I'm actually teach you guys, because um, 95% of my viewers are girls, is a lot of the stuff I teach you to do over text or the mindset is actually a slightly masculine undertone, right? I tell you to focus on your per focus on your purpose in life. Um, don't be all over the man. Give him space. Giving someone space in itself is a masculine energy, right? Because men tend to tend to men back in the primitive days tend to be a bit more isolated from society. Women were the ones who cared about the family and they were part of the society and hence why women are a lot more social today, right? Women are, are a lot more naturally social and emotionally intelligent than men um, naturally are. This is just something you can't deny. And it's generally um, a very true thing if you applied it to the most amount of people. The reason this is, is men tended to be more isolated from society back in the olden days because they were more focused on going out um, pr and providing, right? So, so when I tell you guys that we're over text, you should be a bit distant. You should be focusing on your own, focusing on yourself and giving the man space and not being too emotionally reactive to his actions. This is having a masculine undertone. What I'm telling you that that, that behavior is a masculine energy to be, to isolate yourself a bit and be um, process focused, right? Um, and to be outcome orientated where you're focusing on your purpose and have your goal. So that's the masculine undertone and the femininity I want you to have as an exterior. This should fully be yourself when you're with the guy. Because if the guy, um, if you're attracted to the guy, you will naturally notice you become more feminine, right? Women tend to become more masculine around guys who are either feminine or, or men who they feel they need to have a guard up with. If the guy that you're with is feminine or you feel like you can't trust him, you naturally adopt a more masculine frame. Whereas if there is a guy that you're very um, seduced by and it's a man that is really someone you're attracted to, you will naturally display a more feminine vibe, okay? So what I'm trying to say to you, if I had to conclude on it, right? Is in person, be yourself. Have your femininity, which men cannot resist, guys. There are some girls I have met and they have this feminine aura about them that you most men literally cannot resist. Everything they do is very slow, the way they talk, their eye contact. And it's actually ironic. If a man slows things down and speaks slower and maintains eye contact and moves slower, he appears more masculine. But if a girl speaks slower, maintains eye contact and, move, and, and speaks and moves slower, she appears more feminine. Right? There are some girls that I've met who have a very magnetizing, magnetizing feminine aura, okay? And when they have that magnetizing feminine aura in person and then have their purpose that they're focusing on and they have this slight masculine undertone where they isolate themselves from you a little bit and they have other things to focus on except you, you have a recipe for untold successes in today's dating world guys because society is a lot more fluid today as i've said 
where men are adopting feminine traits because maybe they grew up with a single mother and women are adopting masculine traits because maybe they grew up around a lot of men or they adopted a masculine frame as a defense mechanism to problems they went through with men, right? So if you can leverage both a feminine nature and a masculine nature, where if you're a man, you have your masculine exterior, but a feminine undertone to empathize. And if you're a woman, you have your feminine exterior, which men cannot resist, but you have a masculine undertone, which keeps the, which pushes the man away a bit, and you're focusing on your purpose and your goal, you have an actual recipe for success in the dating world today. I cannot stress this enough. If you guys want me to go into this in more detail, there is so much to talk about, and I'm happy to do that. But as an introductory video, I think I've said enough. Okay. Thank you guys.